will tell you about the 1948 PKI Madian Rebellion. Don't forget to continue to support this channel by pressing like and subscribe. Thank you. PKI Madian is a movement that seeks to overthrow the legitimate government, namely the Republic of Indonesia and replace the state foundation of Pancasila. This movement was led by Amir Sharafuddin and Muso. It started in mid-1948 and is based in Madian, East Java. The reasons behind this include, first, the fall of the Amir Shah of Udin cabinet due to the signing of the Renval Agreement, which was very detrimental to the Republic of Indonesia. After he was no longer Prime Minister, Amir formed the People's Democratic Front, FDR, which later collaborated with leftist organizations such as the Indonesian Communist Party, the Indonesian Farmers Front, BTI, the Indonesian Socialist Youth, Basindo, and others. Second, Amir Sharafuddin's close relationship with the PKI figure Muso and his aspiration to spread the teachings of communism in Indonesia. Third, the propaganda of disappointment against Prime Minister Mohamed Hatta due to his program to return 100,000 soldiers to ordinary people on the grounds of cost savings. How did the rebellion go? The Madian PKI rebellion was initiated by launching anti-government propaganda and a strike by the workers. In addition, the rebellion was also carried out by kidnapping and killing several state figures. Like the shooting of Colonel Sutarto on July 2, 1948, the kidnapping and murder of the first East Java governor or Ario Soryo, who happened to be visiting Nawi and was later intercepted by Amir's group on September 10, 1948, as well as the kidnapping and murder of Dr. Mouwardi on September 13, 1948, who was an important figure in the events of the Proclamation of Indonesian Independence. The peak of the rebellion occurred on September 18, 1948. When the rebels succeeded in taking control of the city of Madian and announcing the birth of the Indonesian Soviet Republic, they also controlled strategic places carried out sabotage, destroyed facilities and infrastructure, and killed people who were anti-PKI. So how did the government deal with the rebellion? The government realized that what the PKI was doing was very dangerous for the country. Therefore, several ways were carried out to end the rebellion. First, Sukarno showed his influence by asking the people to vote for Sukarno Hatta or Musa Amir. Second, Pengli Mobesar Sudir Man ordered Colonel Gatat Subroto in central Java and Colonel Sungono in East Java to carry out crackdown operations assisted by the students. On September 30, 1948, Madian was occupied again by the Republic of Indonesia. Several PKI officials fled to China and Vietnam, such as DNA in Luckman. Muso was shot in a skirmish in Ponorogo. Amir Sharafuddin was arrested and then executed. Thank you for your attention.